What's up, everybody? Today we're checking out VRC Pro. Now, this is a racing simulation RC game that I found on Greenlight, actually, today. And I am pleasantly surprised, being that I am an RC racing fan. Um, finding a, a simulation RC racing game is damn near impossible, because I've never actually seen one. So this one is quite complex, and it is free to play, by the way, as well. Now, a word of warning, there is microtransactions, as well as a monthly membership fee if you do want to get the full experience of the game. But nothing is stopping you from getting a stock car, going into it, and racing. Now, if you do want to start customizing, buying new parts and everything, that's where the microtransactions come in, just like it would in real life. Unfortunately, it happens in the game as well. They, I guess they got to make money somehow. So... Enough of that, let's get right into the uh, meat and potatoes of what this review is all about. Not review, but first look is all about um, the actual gameplay. Now, I'm going to quickly go over a few things that RC enthusiasts would like. Now, there's probably going to be like two of you that are interested in this, and then we're going to get straight into the gameplay, but I'm not going to spend too much time on this. So there is different classes, so we got Nitro Buggy, um, obviously Short Course as well, and even Pan Car. So if you are into the carpet racing, there is that as well. Um, touring cars as well, and then NASCAR trucks, which I've actually never seen in real life. Kind of interesting. But yeah, the, the big two probably being Buggy and Short Course, and then Pan Car being a close third. All of them are here, so whatever you prefer racing with is here for you to enjoy. Unfortunately, there's no Nitro Touring, I'm uh, sorry, not Touring Car, Short Course Truck, but... Um, Electric's just fine as well. Um, if we go to accessories here, there is a lot of stupid, like, stupid amounts of customization. Like, pliers! You got, you got three selections of pliers. Now, I don't know why you would spend money on a different set of pliers that you can probably look at on your desk somewhere and, uh, stare at and enjoy. That's really, I, that's all I... From what I understand, oh, that, okay, so that actually opens time trial. So, so, so some of the things that you click actually open stuff, other things... I mean, just do really nothing. Now, actually, it's a good time to go to here, so I'm glad I hit that. You can customize, obviously, your paint job as well to whatever you want. Actually, I don't want black. I want something lighter. White, and then you can customize, I mean, your wheels and everything. I mean, you get it. Basic customization, no big deal. And then you can do your tweaking as well. So, obviously, if you are a fan of RC racing, you know... Uh, tweaking your vehicle is very important when it comes to racing, so you can do a lot of that. I'm not going to get into too much of it because I would bore 99% of you if I did. But just know that I have checked this out, and this game has... I mean, it would compete with racing simulators in terms of customization, and it's just an RC racing game, which is absolutely hilarious. So... Enough with that, let's actually go into the gameplay here. I'm going to select track really quickly and show you all the tracks. There's probably about 50 real-world tracks in here for each different type of class and whatever you want to race. So that's always really good. I do like having real-world tracks as well, obviously. It's not going to be as popular as something like Nürburgring or something, but um, there is real-world tracks that are popular in RC racing as well. Um, there's multiplayer as well. I doubt there's going to be many people on, if any. Yeah, there's none. I was, I, was, I was in a lobby last time. There's about 90 players on at any given time. Now, hopefully, when this gets on Steam, it will become a little more popular because it is quite fun to play with other people. Now, there is events as well. There's weekly events, just like if you are in a league in real life. There's uh, league events here as well. So you can see I'm currently 70th this week in um, Short Course Weekly. So that's always nice uh, at Mike's which is the track that we're going to be showing right now. Mike's Hobby Shop in Texas, USA. Uh, back to the more customization, you can customize the track grip. I mean, the friggin' air temperature, the atmospheric pressure, humidity. You can customize the humidity of the place. Just to, um... I, I, I guess the, tr the track would be a little bit more damp. Batteries would work differently in humidity. I, I, I don't know. It, it's just, it's way too complex for me. Let's get into the practice mode and actually showcase what this game is all about. So you can see I go right from my uh, building table to the track, which is always cool. Anything for added realism. Um, I hope these, I, I turn the commenter, commentators off, which is really good because they constantly talk to you. Um, so yeah, the biggest thing I, I want to get across in this game is it feels just like the real thing, like amazingly just like. Now I, the, I, I, I've only really bashed, but I have been to a RRC racing track, and I have used short course trucks. And I will say, these things fly. These things do everything like real life, and the amount of customization you can do to it and tweaking it is just like. I mean, there's there's no real sense to play in re real life anymore when you have this because. You're not spending an arm and a leg on, on your damn vehicle. 
Um, obviously, I'm not going to be too good at it because you can actually buy uh, a part for your remote control in real life and control this in-game car with your real-world remote control. Now, I am using an Xbox controller, which is, if you've ever tried to drive an RC car, ten times harder. Well, I guess you wouldn't try and drive an RC car with an Xbox controller because this is the only game that really allows you to drive an RC car, so I doubt many of you have heard of it. Uh, or I, I've, I've just been out of the loop and not heard about it at all. But you get the idea. It feels really good. You can actually use your real-world remote control to control your in-game car with a $10 part that the game sells to you if you do want to buy it. Um, and have everything you need to have the realistic experience. Now, people, please, in the comments, I know I'm hit hitting everything and everything, but it is 10 times harder to drive in an RC racing game than it is in any ordinary racing game because of the view angle. You, you, you gotta acknowledge that I'm looking at it from an outsider's point of view. I'm not behind the car and I can see the angles perfectly. And that's what's so fun about RC, I find. It, it, it's a different racing experience. It's, it's, it's almost like those old school Nintendo games of racing, uh, which is always really fun. But Enough of this, you can actually uh, go over here and pit if you want and customize, you can change your battery, you can, I mean, you can do anything you want at a pit stop, just like in real life as well. Uh, you can change your gearing as well, your pinion gear, as well as your gear, so if you do want to tweak that, obviously you can see mine's built for speed right now. Uh, if you are into RC racing, that is, hey, that was mighty rude of you, sir. So let's hit start race here and actually have a race with uh, these few guys here. These, these are actually just bots, by the way. So I, I, I guess I got to go over here. I turned the uh, an announcer off, so I don't know if I just have to wait or what. I think I just got to wait. Okay, here we go. Now, I hope I actually hear the, the gun or the beep. Because I because he, he usually counts down 3, 2, 1. And I turned him off because he wouldn't shut up when I was trying to record this. Oh, I guess I don't hear it, so <laughs> I guess when you turn the announcer off, you don't even hear the beep, which is unfortunate, but uh, they, they got a little bit of head start, no big deal, and I'm not going to be able to keep up with them anyways. I really, if, if you do want to get into this game, I recommend you either somehow get really good with a controller or pick up the $10 part for your RC remote and get that, unless you can, you can probably buy an, uh, an ordinary RC, like, USB remote as well and uh, use that. But, like I said, it's really hard with a controller. You can't... I don't think you can change the view angle, unfortunately. Well, actually, fortunately, because if, if you could change the view angle, this wouldn't be a simulation experience. This would just be, you know, a typical racing game. I, 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 honestly, it, it just feels really good playing an RC game on a PC. Like, I've never really experienced this. And this... Oh, well, I, sp I spun out there. Uh, this feels really good as well. And I, I think I regret changing my gearing in this car because it's going way too fast. You can tell that I'm just over jumping everything, and this car is not. Oh, <laughs> light crash my ass! I just knocked that guy the fuck out. Um, it, I, this car is just not built for this track at all right now. But uh, it is fun to drive regardless. I don't really care how I do. Um, it's just. An enjoyable experience to be on a track racing, especially being that I am Canadian, there's no tracks around me, so this is my one time to really enjoy RC racing, as as you would in real life, and it's not just bashing, it's actual racing. Um, but yeah, let's go to another track now and uh, show you some different classes in this game. Alright, so I actually have a Nitro sports car now, so you guys can see that I have... Well, I was using an electric vehicle last time, now I'm using an actual nitro vehicle, which is, if you don't know, an engine-based vehicle. Uh, so let's practice with this, and I've never actually done this, so feel free to laugh at me as I probably hit everything on this course, because nitro cars actually aren't as fast as electric cars, but they, they, they work totally differently, and I don't really... I'm actually kind of excited to this, because I've never really used a nitro car, so I'm curious to see how differently they um, increase in speed and everything as well. Oh god, the noise. The annoying noise. Oh god, okay, here we go. And my ears are blown off. Whoa, Jesus. Okay. So I actually gotta take off my headset because this is so damn loud it's going to drive me nuts. But yes, welcome to Nitro Cars. This is what they sound like if you've never heard one. A really annoying sound. Oh my god, this is, this is actually really cool. Um, Oh, Jesus, this is so fast. 
No, uh, there's no way in hell I'm going to ever be able to control this, even if I customize the car to a controller. It is just... Like, look at it. It's so... Fr oh, god damn it. This is way more enjoyable than that aircraft game that I was playing. I, I, I can seriously play this game all day. Um, even if I'm playing very poorly. I think I've done, like, a half a lap. Let, let's, let's see if I can do a whole lap. No, I'm not... <laughs> it, it never stays off its feet. And I, and I guess that's why they're invented this way. They're, they're, they're just like a, a freaking a triangle that doesn't go on their back, which is really nice, because whenever I hit anything, it's always on its feet, as you can see. But... Oh my god. Okay, I, I, I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. I cannot control these things. Let's go to something else. Oh, look, I got an achievement for traveling around the world. How nice. Um, we're actually using nitro buggies now, which is going to be loud once again. But I will edit it down so I don't blow your ears off. It will blow mine off, though. Oh, these ones sound a bit different. This, is, this isn't this is as bad. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, here we go. Oh, it feels... I, I can definitely feel the difference between this and an an electric vehicle. And it doesn't have a reverse gear, I forgot, because it is nitro. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're currently playing with a buggy on... Actually, a bashing track turned into a racing track, and it's not going too well for me. Uh, pretty much everything in this game besides short course trucks, I cannot control at all for some reason. Um, I don't think short course trucks are any easier. These things just feel really weird. But this is a really good course. Like, if you, if you are a fan of jumps and everything, this is the course to go to. Oh, there we go. I kind of did it. I'm, I'm out of the course. I hit a chair. Oh, well. And here we are with our wonderful pan cars, which, if you don't know, race on carpet tracks. And they pretty much stick to the ground. It's such a weird experience. It, it's, it's like it's like indie cars of the RC world. It's so freaking weird. And it's weird that they're on carpet as well. It's, it, it's, it's become a very popular thing. Pan cars on carpet. I don't really understand it. And obviously, I'm not very good at it as well. Um, if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm... Resetting my car every time you see that thing randomly fly throughout. It's just resetting my car. Um, I don't think these guys are going to stay behind me very long. But I am actually kind of doing it, considering how fast this game mode is. And, it's, I mean, the, the average lap is like 15 seconds. Uh, this, this is absolutely mental. I don't know why people do... I don't know what's enjoyable about this. Maybe it's just me and I'm into the whole jumping of RC racing cars. I don't see how this will be fun, even if you were able to, you know, cut your lap by 0.5 of a second and do a 13 second lap or something. I don't know, it's just, it's there's not much going on. It's just going around in a big circle very quickly. I, I, I guess it's a lot like indie racing, and I don't really understand that either. I much prefer, like, trophy trucks. Or, um, hell, e even NASCAR is more enjoyable than indie racing, I find. Oh god, we're playing some NASCAR. Yes, there is... As I stated before, NASCAR trucks in this game. I don't know why there's trucks and not cars. Maybe trucks are popular in RC and cars aren't. I don't know. Um, but I'm on... Oh, crap. I, I can't even get out of the freaking pits. Holy shit, this is fast. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> this whole video is just going to be me crashing and trying to showcase how cool this game is. But it really is quite amazing if I'm, I'm sure if i you know spent a few days to get good at it i mean you see i'm not doing too bad i'm not obviously doing okay i'm not doing good at all but you know you get the idea now the people are kind of scaring me there there's a lot of cutouts of people just standing around doing nothing honestly i'd rather see it empty than cutouts of people that's so annoying what the hell is, is this an actual what is this is this just a playground oh look i'm, I'm at some sort of playground track okay I don't know why you would want a playground with a car that can't even jump. I mean, you can just go back and forth, I guess. This is, um... This is this is really weird. Can I hit these? Oh, yeah. Look at that. I, that, was, that was kind of fun. I, I, I enjoyed hitting the white thing. But uh, I don't know really why would you need to practice. Oh, shit. I didn't realize I was there. My bad. All right. So here is NASCAR. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. It's so loud. Why do you guys got to be so loud? But, yes, there is actually an oval track. That's kind of like NASCAR. So, if you are a fan of NASCAR and want to play with RC cars, now you can. Are, are you, aren't you? you happy? Are you enjoying this noise as much as I am? Because I sure as hell am not. I, this is why I don't race nitro cars. 
80% official track re record. Look at that! I'm, I'm doing 80% official track records. I don't even know what that means, but I, I, I guess it's good, right? Considering I got an achievement. And there's even bashing if you prefer to break your car like this. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's VRC Pro in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, again, links will be down below for the game if you do want to pick it up for yourself. Holy crap, can I, can, I, can I even end on a good note where I'm not on my roof half the time? I guess not. But, uh, yeah, I'm sorry guys, I'm so bad at gaming. I, 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 I just showcase them, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.